Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 2 Computer Networks dealing with network topologies Mesh, Star, Bus and Ring. In this video, we will be seeing a brief detailed explanation about a mesh topology. What is physical topology? The topology is nothing but it is the structure of the network. There are two kinds of topology, physical and logical topology. Physical topology means the geometric representation of the network. So this is the geometric representation of the network. There are different types of topologies, bus topology, ring topology, star topology, mesh topology, tree topology and hybrid topology. All these topologies are formed by two or more links connected together. That is, here two or more devices are connected through a link. This link is formed by using different nodes. These two or more links continuously form a topology. So here, bus topology is, there is a main link that is connected to different sublinks. Ring topology forms a loop connection. Star topology has a central hub, a central node with different number of nodes connected to the central node. Mesh topology, here, each and every nodes are connected to each and every other nodes. Tree topology forms a representation of a tree. That is, one node forms two nodes. These two nodes form three nodes and so on. Hybrid topology is, there is a main topology and there are n number of subtopology which characterize the main topology. So, these are all the different topologies that are available in the network. Here, we are going to see about mesh topology. What is mesh topology? It is a type of networking where any kind of devices are interconnected to each other. So, it is nothing but any kinds of devices can be interconnected to each other. The, it is interconnected by forming nodes. Each of these nodes can be a switch, a router or even a central hub. So, why we need a node? Node is a one which helps in receiving and transmitting the data from one node to the other. Say suppose for example, there is one node which is connected to different devices. Now, this devices that is the link connecting to this devices gets failed. What happens? Nothing to worry because this mesh topology is nothing but the nodes will be interconnected to each other. So, if one node fails also, it will travel through the other way and reach the destination so that the data are passed on to the destination, dest destinated node. Here, the mesh topology follows two things. That is, it is self-organized. It always organizes the route to be followed and the network traffic at each node, each links is completely maintained by itself. This mesh topology is divided into two. One is full mesh and another is partially mesh. Full mesh topology. From this diagram, you can debit that there are five nodes. One, two, three, four, five. So these five nodes I am considering as five devices connected. 
all these five devices are connected through links one main formula you can remember to explain about mesh topology is n nodes is equal to n minus 1 number of connection that is now here you have five nodes i am taking this first node now this node will have four connection that is n minus 1 you have five nodes here n minus 1 is 5 minus 1 so four connection it must have so this device is having four connection one two three four if you take the second node the second node will also have four connections one two three four so this is the main formula that you can remember to explain about the mesh topology so if suppose there is any failure in any of the nodes it can be managed because the data has to be sent from this node to this node now this link is failed so no worries you can still transfer data through different path that is from here it is transferred to this node and this node transfers the data to this node finally the destinated path is arrived so next is partial mesh topology so from the diagram itself you can differentiate see here not all the nodes are connected interconnected to each other some nodes are interconnected to each other some nodes doesn't interconnect with each other that is for example i am taking this as a node now this node is connected to this node and this node but this node is connected interconnected to all other nodes that is here it is connected to this node it is connected to this node this this so this node is connected to all other nodes but it this node does not connect to all other nodes so one cons that you can face here is if suppose there is any failure in the nodes the damage is completely occurring in the whole circuit because the network traffic in this link cannot be maintained completely if the network traffic in this link is more and there is a failure here there is no communication channel that is connecting this node and this node only this links form a communication channel so if this fails complete complete circuit will get damaged there are two principles followed by this mesh topology one is routing and another is flooding so the routing is nothing but in this the data is routed in defined path to various paths to deliver this data so in routing each and every nodes should remain active it uses a technique called self healing it means it reroutes the communication through different path if there is any error occurs in the circuit next principle is flooding flooding is nothing but here all the data are communicated to all the active nodes available if the data has to reach a node that node checks for the data that is whether the arrived data is matching or not if it matches the nodes takes the data if does not matches then that data is rerouted to the other path where the where which node requires that data so these are the two principles that is available for mesh topology so next we will be seeing about the protocols of mesh topology the word protocol means it is a standard or it is a rule followed by the topology only if you follow some certain rules and standards the topology gives you good performance and good scalability so based on this protocols it is divided into three types one is proactive second is reactive and third is hybrid protocol let's see in detail 
what is proactive protocols in this protocol this protocol is self monitoring protocol that is it keeps on monitors the traffic at each links and by monitoring all these traffics at each links it will only determine that which data has to be passed on to which link it also actively reroutes the data if suppose any failure occurs but one thing is it is only suited for static environment and not for dynamic environment because under static environment there will be no much changes occurring in the network next is reactive pro protocols here this protocol will determine the network path based on one thing that is based upon the request for data transmission if there is only any request for transmitting the data to destination only then this protocol will determine which link or which path the data has to be followed and also it will be providing the optimal path that is easy path to reach the destination so it takes more time to establish a connection the best example for uh, reactive protocol is the web server which follows reactive protocol is bank servers that is unless and otherwise the bank server receives any request from from the client side it does not work once receiving the request it starts working and it will show the client the destined path next is hybrid protocol this hybrid architecture what it does is it has the characteristics of both the other two protocols that is both the proactive and the reactive protocols characteristics combined together forms the hybrid protocols so combining these characteristics it forms the best communication path required by the client and the cost is very less there should be some pros and cons available when designing a topology right so when designing the mesh topology there are some pros that we need to see that is to set up a mesh topology the cost is very low it is scalable in nature it is robust in nature and it has very good redundancy that is it follows the optimal pathway and gives a good redundancy to the topology there are some cons that has to be considered that is it is complex in nature because each and every nodes are interconnected to each and other nodes so it forms a complex structure so when there is inter when it is interconnected to different nodes the power consumed to transmit the data from each and every node is high and planning to construct all these nodes and forming links is a little bit tough so the planning of mesh topology becomes tough stay tuned for the further videos on bus topology ring topology hybrid topology please like share comment and subscribe thank you